Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at turning a mini PC into a retro gaming console. This is the B Link EQ12. This is an Intel 12th Gen 4 core running at 3.4 gigahertz. And we also have DDR5 RAM in here, 4800 megahertz memory. Does come with an SSD in this one already pre built and also Wi Fi 6. And we have the Intel processor N100 CPU in here. So 16 gigs of RAM on this one. You can put a maximum of two terabytes of drive in here, but I'm going to show you a way that we're going to be doing it in this video. You've got your HDMI cables, your power adapter, your VESA mount if you want to VESA mount this, some screws, and your user manual in the kit as well. It's a pretty affordable uh, piece of kit if you're looking to do something like this. It's around about $239. On the front, we have a couple of USB 3.2 ports and that audio input and a power button. On the side, we have some ventilation. On the other side, we also have some more ventilation here. On the rear, we have our Type-C input, also another USB input here. We have two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports and two HDMI ports on here and our DC input for our power. So this is going to be plenty for what we want for playing retro games. So we can also install a SSD inside of this if we wanted to, up to two terabytes. There is your VESA mount here. I've removed the screws and I'm just gonna pull off the bottom so you can see inside. This cooling area here is for the SSD if you want to stick an SSD in here and that little fan will keep it uh, running cool and it will sit in here. Now you could run your retro game straight in here off of a two terabyte SSD if you wanted to, and that will take a bit more setting up. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to show you a much easier way of doing this. Now we have one stick of 16 gigabytes of RAM, which can be upgraded. We also have that 512 gigabyte SSD with 800 MBS uh, reads and writes on there. So pretty decent. If you want to add more RAM in here and more storage, you can do. The RAM inside is crucial RAM. Intel N100 is a four core, four thread CPU. Now, before we get to the retro gaming uh, setup, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales, which are running a mid year uh, sale. If you are looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, check out the links in the video description. Once you set up your account, you can click the buy now and then you can use my promo code, capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order and you should get a 30% discount on your purchase. You'll see the price change down on the bottom right. Once you've done that, submit your order and you can use PayPal uh, to pay for your uh, key. Once you get your key sent to you, you'll be able to head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So let's get back to setting up the game console here. Here we have a pretty decent uh, little kit here, which I'll leave a link in the video description. This is going to make setting up this gaming console super easy. We've got a couple of controllers in here. Now, I've used a lot of controllers in my time, and these ones seem to be pretty good quality. They seem pretty responsive. The build quality on these are pretty nice, and they do sell these separately on Amazon, which are pretty expensive. So, you've got a USB cable here, pretty long, and you've got two of those. You also have a two and a half inch uh, SATA external drive. This is a five terabyte drive in here. And if you're wondering whether this is a cheap Chinese knockoff drive in here, it's not. It's actually a good quality drive inside here, which is made by Seagate. And I'll show you that in a second, how we can find out. It does come with its cable and we'll go into Windows now and I show you the actual drive itself. Now this five terabyte drive comes packed with over 66,000 games. And that means that you can be playing to your art's content. There's all your favorites in here. And you can see it has three sections to it. So like I said, it comes in three sections here, emulation, launch box, and play night. We're gonna be concentrating on launch box and emulation here for this little mini PC, but there is that play night which you could use, but we're gonna be concentrating on the uh, retro gaming section here. Now, again, inside here, it's got a useful documentation to help you get this set up and running. It's basically just plugging it into your computer and it will start working. And you can click on one of these and it will open up, as I'll show you in a second. So let me just quickly show you uh, what else we have here. Inside here, this hard drive, this is a ST5000LM0000. And you can see right here, it's a five terabyte drive. Now, what drive is that? Well, that is a Seagate 
Barracuda 5 terabyte internal hard drive, which costs £116 alone. So we do have a pretty decent drive in here. So it's not one of those uh, cheaper knockoff drives. Got a good quality branded drive in here. So you know you're going to have some good reliability. Next up, we've got the drive itself. You can see it's pretty full because it's got all those games on here and it's only got 9.94 gigabytes free. So if you wanted to delete some of the ones you don't want, you can do and free up some space for some of your favorite stuff. It's entirely up to you, but I'm pretty sure this is going to have every game that you can possibly think of that you've ever played. And then when you've had a look, basically triple that because there's thousands and thousands of games on here. Now in Launchbox, we do have all your favorite consoles like your Sega Saturns and your PlayStation and your Dreamcast and all those PSP sort of things that we used to play as a child. You can see here, there is absolutely stacks of them. If you look down there, I'm not going to go through loads of these because there's literally thousands and thousands of these. I have checked through here. There's not many duplicates on here. You do normally get loads of duplicates on here, but there isn't a lot. There is some art missing, which you can easily scan and find the art for these. I'm not sure why the art is missing on here, but that is easily scraped and easily uh, put back. So this is what you're going to get if you get the launch box part here. There is literally, as I've said, thousands of games that you can actually play. You can customize this to your own liking as well. It's not locked in where you have to use what they've set up. You can go into the config menu and set this up how you like and have your settings how you want to play them. And that would depend what you're plugging this drive into. If you've got a modern day computer, it's going to play all of these, no problem at all. If you're using a little low end system like this that I'm showing you, then you might have to stick with some of the lower end uh, games to play on that, on the emulation section and maybe some PSP games. So take a look at what we're going to do here and I'll show you exactly how we can get this working. Now, also, there is a little user manual in here to show you how to get this up and running if you don't have certain things installed on your system. Uh, like VC++ and things like that. It shows you where to get those and they get them from Microsoft and they're free to download. Again, I didn't have to do any of this. So I just plugged it in and it started working. Now, this is his website here. It's on AliExpress and he's got a ton of different versions of this. So maybe you want to just go all out retro games. You can do. And there's smaller versions here with Vadasera and things like that. Depending on what you want to do and what you want, you can purchase them. They're pretty affordable. There's ones here with stupid amounts of games on them. I'm pretty sure you're never going to get through all of those games. And it's probably every single game for that particular console that they made for some of these. And you can see here, it's £151, this one here. And again, that's pretty cheap considering that the drive alone is over £100 to buy. Plus, you've got the two controllers in here. So it's a pretty decent deal. So taking a look at the emulation station here, you can see. There is tons of favorite consoles that you can play games on. Some of the artwork is missing here. It says work in progress. I'm not sure why that is, but you can always scrape your own and make your own. There's plenty of themes out there. You can then use your own themes on this if you wanted to. But again, there is just about every single console you can think of and all of the favorite games that you used to play as a child. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. And you'll be able to see exactly how easy it is. You just click on them and play them. So once you click on one of these sections here, it will open up a section like this and you'll get all of the games in that area. It will tell you how many games there is and there's literally thousands of them. And you can go in here and choose which ones you want to play. Just go ahead and play some. So there you go. Just click on them and away you go. You can play all your favorite ones. And uh, it's great. It really is. And uh, for, for something that you just plug in and play and you don't have to set it up, it's pretty nice. And there's no password protection. There's no forcing you to be online to play these games. You can play them offline if you want to. And again, there is tons of them on here. I'm not going to go through and play loads of them. I'm just going to show you some because you've seen these a million times over. But basically, if you're looking for something like this to plug in for the kids or maybe you've got a, a lower end system. This will play all these, no problem at all. This is all being played on that little mini PC. As you can see, the N100 from uh, B-Link. I will leave a link for that in the video description as well. And for a lot of these games, it will play these no problem at all uh, because these are older school type games and it will have no problem playing these 
and you can upscale these as well uh, but it's all set up for you you don't have to go in and do any of that sort of stuff and uh, if you're into that sort of thing and you want to play some of the games you used to play from your childhood then by all means check out the links in the video description because you will not find a a better sort of package than something like this now of course if you're plugging this into your main computer and you've got a pretty decent graphics card in here you're going to be able to get use of all of the games on here and all of the uh, packages on here. You'll be able to use those, no problem at all. But on this lower end system, you're going to have to stick with the old retro uh, console classics with Emulation Station and stuff like that, and maybe some PSP games and things like that. Otherwise, you may run into problems because the M100 is a pretty decent processor for this particular type of workload. It can handle all of these, no problem at all. So depending on what you're looking for and how much you want to spend, you can even use an old computer or an old laptop if you've got one lying around. Uh, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to get this set up. Now, when I played some PSP games, uh, it was having no trouble at all. Some of them, it seemed to struggle a little bit on some of the games. Uh, so bear that in mind. It just depends on the type of processing power. Now, the processing power of this one is 987 on the single core and 2179 on the multi core. The GPU for this on Geekbench 6, which I'm going to run here, it did take quite a while to run these benchmarks, but it got 3270 on the benchmark score for that particular uh, graphics there. So that's basically what you're getting for your money. If you want to play 4K videos, you can do with this mini PC. It'll have no trouble streaming 4K 60 FPS. And uh, you can play these on triple monitors as well if you wanted to. So if retro games are not your thing, you can still use it for uh, playing Plex or playing movies or 4K content or even, you know, just using it for YouTube or maybe emails and things like that. Just general use. It will play these files here. These are pretty hardcore files to play. Jellyfish 120, MBPS, 4K, Ultra HD, HEVC, 10-bit. And you can see it's playing this no problem at all. I'll jump it just to see whether it catches up very quickly. This one is a very difficult file to play as well, and it's having no problems playing this. I'll quickly skip this to see what happens. There is a little bit of a freeze because it needs to catch up, and because there you go, and it starts to play again. So whether you want this for retro gaming and play some of your old school games, and you don't know where to get them or how to set it all up, this is all done for you. I'll leave the link in the video description for the retro gaming a hard drive. Also, I'll leave a link in there for the mini PC in in case you're interested in the B-Link uh, mini PC. Anyway, but that said, I think that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this sort of content. If you do, then give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.